Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to see a liquid circle animation in Adobe After Effects. We are starting by creating a new composition. I will keep it 9020 by 1080 and I would like to add a color on the background. You will probably have a black color, but I will choose something like a purple. Then click OK. You could just add the background with a solid layer now, but in this case, the effects that I'm going to use later will not work very well. However, if you need to export the video when you finish it, you will need to add a solid layer for background and make a pre-comp with the liquid circles. If you need to do this, let me know in the comments below and I will help with that. By the way, the project file of this video will be available for download on Patreon and on YouTube membership. So I'm starting by creating a shape layer, so I'm going to layer, a new, and then shape layer. I would like to have an ellipse tool, so you go here on the shape tool, click and hold, and then select the ellipse tool. Then you can change the color to whatever color you like. I will keep this yellowish color. And then I click and hold, and I'm also holding the shift key to have a perfect circle and release the mouse to create the circle. Then I would like to add a wiggle effect. So I'm going to the effects tab. If you can't see it, you can go to view, now to window, and then find the effects and presets tab. It is here. So I will start typing wiggle. And in this case, I would like to have a wiggle on the, on the position. So I will double click on that one. I will keep the speed on one second and the pixels I will change it to a hundred. So this is how the circle will behave. Then I'm going to duplicate this layer by pressing Command D on the keyboard or Control D on the keyboard if you have a Windows PC. I will do it a couple of times and I will create seven circles. I will change the position of each one. and also the size. So now if I click the space button, we'll see the circles moving like that. Then I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to layer, new, and adjustment layer. I'm moving on the top. So whatever I will add on this adjustment layer, it will be added on all the layers below. First, I'm going to add a Gaussian blur. That one. So I double click. I make the blurriness something like 60. There you can see it. And then I will look for the matte choker. Now we'll double click this as well. Just make sure this will be below the Gaussian blur, not above that. Then if you'd like to make it even smoother, you can reduce this to 5%. So if I play now, you can see that there is like a connection with liquid effect when the circles move closer, like this. Now I will change the position of the circles. So I will keep them in the beginning as they are. I will select them all. I'm pressing the P button on the keyboard to open the position. Then I click on this little clock here and I would like to make it a bit smoother on the motion. So I will press the F9 key on the keyboard to make them easy ease. On the mark, you should hold the FN key and then the F9. As you can see, the keyframe has changed now. So I'm going like a second later and I will move each of the circles separately somewhere in the middle of the frame. So if I press the space button to make it play, you will see this effect like that, like a liquid blob effect. And that was it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please like, share, subscribe. See you on the next one.